Good Friday morning, Glads. We made it through another week. I'm Daniel Robinson. And I'm Mr. Trahill, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for tuning in. Before we jump into school announcements, let's hear from Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm so excited. Today we're having Mandarin chicken. I know you all love it, so come on down and have some wonderful Mandarin chicken over rice. And then on Monday, it's a cheeseburger. Hope to see you. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye. Glads, buy your yearbooks now for only $55 in the business office. Prices will go up in December. And seniors, listen up. The deadline for baby ads and quotes for the yearbook must be submitted to Ms. Kennedy on October 13th or October 20th. October 20th is the last day you can bring those in if you want them in the yearbook. Don't delay. Get those photos and quotes in to the yearbook staff or room 104 as soon as possible. With October just around the corner, those deadlines are coming fast. Here's a lineup for upcoming college visits. Starting on Tuesday next week, October visits kick off with California Baptist University and Colorado Mesa will be here on the 4th. On October 10th, we have two schools scheduled. Fort Hayes State University will be here during advisory and Paul Mitchell, the school, will be here at lunch. Hastings College is scheduled to visit on October 12th and CSU Pueblo comes in on October 17th. Pikes Peak Community College will visit on Wednesday, October 18th, and rounding out October will be CU Denver on October 31st. November visits start with Luther College on Thursday, November 2nd, while Adams State plans to be here on Thursday, November 16th. Remember to mark your calendars with these dates and remember to swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your pass to attend. Daniel, there's another really great opportunity to check out colleges at the College Fair at Mesa Ridge. Juniors and seniors, WHS will be taking 50 students to the College Fair at Mesa on October 25th. Most schools will be from in-state, but there will be some out-of-state schools too. If you would like to attend, you have to sign up at the counseling office. The deadline to sign up is October 12th, and you must have a permission slip to attend. Return your permission slip to the counseling office no later than October 17th. Hey, Glads. We're having a Spirit Week next week because we're getting ready to play the Purple School on Friday. We didn't want you to miss out, so here are your dress-up days. Monday is Mathletes versus Athletes Day. Tuesday is Dress to Impress Day. Wednesday is Heroes versus Villains Day. Thursday is Jersey Day. And Friday is Blue Out Day. Go Glads! Beat Mesa! Now here's Kieran Doolittle with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Here are some upcoming game dates. In softball news, our Lady Glads had some canceled games this week because of our Colorado weather, but the ladies are scheduled to be back on the diamond on Tuesday against the Elizabeth Cardinals at 4 p.m. Likewise, the boys' tennis team had to cancel matches this week for wet weather, but the team is prepping for regional matches on Thursday next week at Cheyenne Mountain High School. In soccer news, they will be hitting the field once more this weekend on Saturday morning against Pueblo East right here at home at 10 a.m. The weather should cooperate. In volleyball news, mark your calendars for the Lady Glads Dig Pink game coming this Tuesday, October 3rd. The game is against Mesa Ridge and the Lady Glads would like to remind everyone to wear pink to the game to raise awareness and support for breast cancer research. Go Glads! Beat Mesa! The cross-country team had a meet scheduled for Thursday afternoon in Canyon City at the Royal Gorge Bridge and Park, but it was canceled for weather. The team has another meet this Saturday at Cottonwood Creek Park in the Rampart Invite. Our Gladiator football team is on the road tonight to take the Chatfield Chargers at 7 p.m. The Glads are dominating the field. Can they make it a 5-0? I'm TJ Davis. I'm the starting quarterback. I'm Sam Reed. I'm the starting defensive end, starting left tackle on offense. Good things we've been seeing as a team. Overall, we've been coming together more as a unit, building a brotherhood, stand together, performing. No, like a, when adversity comes, we all just stay together. Uh, the game plan against Chatfield is to execute and um, limit our mistakes and come at them 100% and let them know that we're there to play ball. I can honestly speak for offense. We're really the no-huddle. The no-huddle's working. We get defensive tile, wear, wear them down, and we just do what we do, get the ball in open space. The line, tired of all defensive line out. 
then they just start bringing it and just we just play. Defensively to blank an opponent, pretty much just got to, like I said, execute, play physical football, make sure that you're hitting them every single play, have 11 guys on the ball, make sure that they don't get any yards, you just play hard. How do we feel? We feel like we could, we could honestly beat anyone when we play as a team, but it all starts with everybody. Everybody got to be on the same page. Like Coach say, all in. As the motto, we all got to be in at one to do what we want to do. It's not good enough. 50 points, 40 points ain't high enough. We need 60. We need 70. You'll have to watch them to see for sure. And finally, Glads, open gyms for both boys and girls are happening on Mondays and Wednesdays. Pay attention. Here's how they're dividing the time. Ladies start on Monday, October 2nd, in Bowers Gym from 6 to 8 p.m., while boys will be in the small gym also on Monday at on Wednesdays, the ladies will be in the small gym and boys will be in Bowers from 6 to 8 p.m. If you haven't made it to the gym yet but are interested or need more information, speak with Coach Munoz in room 207. Good luck to all of our sports teams this week. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Friday. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Now back to you, Daniel and Marissa. Thanks, Kieran. Hey, juniors. The PSAT test is coming up on Wednesday, October 11th during periods one through four. You need to take this test to qualify for a National Merit Scholar Scholarship. So sign up and pay the fee no later than October 6th. The cost is $16 and Miss Abeda in the Counseling Center will get you squared away and collect your fee. See the Counseling Center website for more information. Hey Glads, so we have another fundraiser to tell you about and you might want to pay attention. Raise your hand if you like wings. I can see there are a lot of wing lovers out there. Well guess what? The Color Guard is holding a fundraiser on October 4th from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. at Buffalo Wild Wings on Geyser Drive. You will need to show the coupon to your server for the Color Guard to receive 10% of your bill for the group. So all you wing lovers, go out and feed your craving next Wednesday and donate to a great cause. Finally, here's your club and activities update for Friday. Student Union is open in the library every day from 3 to 4.15. You must have a sticker on your ID like the one picture to stay and play or to work on homework. Remember the Power Club meets today at lunch in room 130 with Mr. Dania, and the Guitar Club meets in room 2 after school with Mr. White. If you want to store your guitar until the end of the day, see Mr. White. We have a few more housekeeping notes before we go, but first we have some reverse power cards celebrating our amazing teachers. Hi guys, my name is Daniel Robinson and this power ticket goes out to Mr. Kelso because he is one of the realest teachers that I ever have and I love for how blunt and liberal he is. Hi, I'm Maddie Hager and my reverse power ticket goes to Mrs. Carmody and I just want to say thanks for always being passionate about AP Environmental Science because it gets all of the students interested and invested in the class. Hi, I'm Corinne McAfee and my reverse power ticket goes to Ms. Sardinia. She's, uh, she's a great French teacher and every morning I come to my class with a smile on my face because she's just such an open and warm person. Hi, I'm Zach Santos and my reverse power ticket goes to Mrs. Everwine. She's uh, always positive and always checks on how I'm doing and really just makes my day better and I thank you for that. If you would like to recognize one of your teachers with a reverse power card, you can pick up a card at the attendance office and drop it in the bin. We do the rest. One more thing, picture retakes are today in the small gym from 10 a.m. to noon. Finally, seniors, listen up. Your first class meeting will be on Thursday, October 5th during advisory. Be sure to attend this meeting because there will be important graduation information. As well. If you cannot make it to this meeting, please see Ms. Abeda in the Counseling Center after October 5th. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Friday. I'm Daniel Robinson. And I'm Mr. Hill, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.